Hi guys, it's Ingrid here and welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be doing another Top Fire Wednesday. If you haven't seen my last one, I'll have it linked in the description. So Top Fire Wednesday is a Goodreads group. I will have the Goodreads group linked in the description. That is hosted by Sam from the channel Thoughts on Toms. I'll also have her channel linked in the description. <laughs> Just check out the description. They will have a lot of useful information. And the topic for this Wednesday is favorite book covers. I am a huge cover buyer. I get the edition that I want based on the cover. It's going to be completely honest. I love beautiful covers. To try and limit it down, I'm only going to choose books from my physical shelf because if I can just choose any books in the world, we would sit here all day. I'm just going to be turning around figuring out which they are because I think if I were to prepare too much, I would overanalyze every cover. So I'm just going to kind of See what truly catches my eye and go for it. I already know my first one. And it's this beauty that you see right here, which is Witchwood by Tahara Mafi. And this is the second book in the Furthermore series. I'm not sure if this is the last book or if she's making more. But guys, look at this cover. Oh my goodness. On the front here we have our main character Laylee. And there are snowflakes and roses. Maybe that might be a spider, I'm not really sure. Hmm. What is those called? Pomegranates? It's just beautiful. Blue is my favorite color and there is a lot of blue on this. I also love red and there's a lot of red on this. And my favorite season is winter. It's almost everything I love in book form. I love how they haven't used that many colors so it doesn't feel that overwhelmed even though there's a lot of elements in it and there's a lot of drawings. I feel like they really made the right cho color choice on this one. And the spine looks really nice. And on the back we have more roses going around. And I haven't read this so I'm not sure what the roses symbolize. But I have read the first book furthermore. So I won't say too much about this one because it is a sequel. Even though I've heard people say that the stories are different and you can read this without having read the first one. I still don't want to give too much away but we do follow another character than from the first book and she washes dead bodies for a living. And I did actually start this when I bought it and I got to page 41 and I have no idea why it stopped but I'm now saving it for the winter time because I'm getting kind of wintry vibes. And it's also middle grade, which is kind of easy to read. So I'm saving this for like exam period when I need to just calm down and not have too much going on. And I love to head him off this writing. So yeah, this is my first favorite cover. All right, next one is coming from a shelf that's below this one. And I got this book for my boyfriend from Christmas in 2016. I think it was 2016. And that is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I'm sorry. I still haven't read this book, but it is beautiful. It features two skylines, one that has a lot of skyscrapers, and then another one that's more like a palace-y thing. And then we have the spine that goes from pink to purple to blue, and also the back that is mostly pink and purple. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I haven't read it, and I don't know why. But I do want to, and I think maybe I should do that soon. And this is the first in the Firebird trilogy, so I know there's two other books and their covers are just as pretty as this one. Now that we follow a girl that is the daughter of two scientists, actually the daughter of two brilliant physicists. Just gonna put it out there, I do not know the difference. Those words are just too big for me to comprehend. But I do know that it deals with, I believe, like parallel universes. It's either that or time travel, but I believe it's parallel universes and I'm here for it. I know there's love in it as well, which I'm all for. So I've heard really good things about this book and this author, so hopefully I'll get to it soon. The other way, I love the cover. All right, the next one I'm going to choose is also from this shelf. I love this shelf. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And it's this book right over here. I'm not sure if you can see that. But it is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Now this is also a book that I got from my boyfriend. I got this this summer when I went to visit him. This book looks so cool. It has a black cover. I don't know if you can see it, but there are things written in black here. 
so maybe you can see it if I do like this. I hope you do, unless I feel really weird just turning this book around. I think now maybe you can see it. And it has black spray edges and it is so beautiful. And this is the 10 year anniversary edition and I believe they're making this one into a movie. So I really want to get to it soon. I just love the fact that it's all black and the writing that you can't really see and black and red together. It's just so beautiful. Now this book we follow a boy in a society where there are no females, I believe. I like to go into my books not knowing much, so that's why I don't have too much to say about this. But I've heard really great things. And in this society, everyone can read everyone else's thoughts. And then one day this character, I think he either meets a girl or he gets to a place where everything's quiet, he can't hear anyone's thoughts, and he realizes that maybe the world isn't the way that he was told it was. So, as I said, I've heard amazing things about this book and it looks so badass and I'm hoping to get to it soon. And a huge thanks to my boyfriend for getting me this and the last book. Alright, three down, two to go. Which ones to choose? I'm trying to not pick anyone else from this shelf, but I'm gonna be honest, I love all of these books. Alright, I know which one to get. That is Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna McGuire. This is the third book in the Wayward Children series. As I said earlier, blue is my favorite color and it does have a really, really lovely light blue up here. And then it has a beautiful pink, which I love pink, if you can't tell. We're matching. I just love the ocean and the clouds and it makes me really really want to pick it up especially because I already know what this series is about if you didn't know it's about children that go into different worlds like Alice in Wonderland or Neverland or Narnia those types of worlds and this one is the third one and I think it's set mainly in our world at this boarding school for children that has come home from those worlds and is trying to deal with everyday life. And when you see this and the door, you really wonder like what world looks like this. I also love the spine that's the blue and pink. And this is just dark and has a lot of praise. V.E. Schwab has blurbed it. I am very excited to pick this up. They're also really short. And this one is just 170-ish pages. So you should definitely check this series out. I would recommend starting with the first one, Every Heart a Doorway. Now we're down to our last one. I'm starting to feel the pressure because I can only add one more to this shenanigans. I'm wondering if I should go with Crooked Kingdom or if I should go for something that might not be in everyone's way. I think I'm going to have to be honest and pick another one from this shelf. And it's going to be the one that you see here with the red sprayed edges because I love sprayed edges. And that is Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. This is the second and last book in the Six of Crows duology, even though I believe Leigh Bardugo said she might write more books in this series. But I believe this is also a conclusion. I'm not really sure. I haven't read this one. I've only read Six of Crows, and Six of Crows was really good, if you're wondering. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I really love this cover is one, the sprayed edges but I also really love the crow that goes into castles here I like that the kind of the wing and the castles melt together and I also love the font of this I'm a huge font person the other one's fonts are just okay but this font and then it's black and has the castle again here and then just black I also like the first cover I'll put it up here and you can see that they kind of go pretty well together I do really like the crow aspect of it. It's just so intriguing. It really makes me want to pick it up. Now, I won't tell you what this one is about because it is the sequel, so I don't want to spoil anything in the first book, but the first one, Six of Crows, follows a group of kids, or teenagers, young adults, young adults? It follows a group of young adults trying to complete an impossible heist. It was really, really good. I love Lee Bardugo's writing. I love the characters. Even though I'm still not over what happened in the Grisha trilogy. But I do love her characters. I love the connection she makes in between each character. And her writing style in general is just really beautiful. So I highly recommend picking up Six of Crows. And then one day I will read this one. So again, a book I haven't read. Which I realized is almost all of the books on my shelf. But anyway, this one is the fifth and final book on my list. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite book cover is. I would love to know. 
because there's just so many. I can't handle it. There's so many more on this shelf I could talk about. Maybe I will do another video later on talking about other beautiful book covers. So if you want to see that video or other bookish videos from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, then you could give it a like. Feel free to add me on Twitter and Goodreads. I've started being really active on Twitter. You should definitely follow me there. And I try to be active on Goodreads, but Twitter has kind of taken over my life. But I'll have them both linked in the description. And I hope to see you in my next video.